love how you can pretty much take this down to the rails on this eaglet and not feel like you're gonna fall or tip over. It's awesome. I love this thing. I do not regret trading my Peregrine in one bit. I love the added depth. It's easier to get my feet underneath the seat in and out. More comfortable. Yeah, it's a little wider, but yesterday I did a, a 5K workout in this thing. I think my last mile was something like 13, 13 and a half minutes. It's pretty damn good in this thing. It's definitely not a race boat, but this thing handles like a dream. It's got massive capacity. It's got dogs barking in the background, but hey. I also love the, the wider stance of this boat. It gets me to get my knees further apart than when I was in the Peregrine, making it a little bit more comfortable for me since I have bad knees as well. I said I love this eaglet. You can take it down on the rails pretty much. Not even worry about it. It just paddles like a dream. I just, like I said earlier, I don't regret one bit trading this in for my Peregrine. Not that the Peregrine's not awesome in itself, but for me, this is, this is it. This is where I feel super comfortable. Like I said, the depth is amazing on this thing for my feet. Stability, initial and secondary. It's pretty efficient in the water. And uh, this thing weighs, this one as seen here as built, is 38 pounds. Not too shabby. I mean, in a perfect world, would like everything lighter, I would think. But this is rock solid structure. I, it's a skin coat boat with a pigment in the in the Kevlar so it's a, it's a green hull and uh, yeah I love it